Hello folks, my name is Don, and welcome back to Transformers Devastation. Now, I have a confession to make. I kind of went and played most of the game before I recorded this video. I couldn't wait to, uh, to play more before my next recording, so I just went ahead and played pretty much all of it. I think I'm on the last chapter now, but for you guys, I thought I'd come back and, uh, you know, do the rest of the game. So, the only difference is going to be basically that... Uh, I will have extra weapons, extra moves, extra stuff, um, and you know, it's not so bad. I mean, I'm still here, it's still me, and it's it's all fun, it's all good. I came back for you guys, I came back for you. See, I, I actually stopped the last recording in probably the worst place, because just, just after that, there's actually like all this really interesting stuff to do with upgrading your characters and choosing your characters and whatever. So, so I've just unlocked all these really cool weapons, right? Um, which are amazing because they're all based on old G1 designs and stuff. And actually, there's one in here. I might get it. I don't know. That's actually based that one. That fucking sword. That's Optimus Primal's fucking sword from Beast Wars. I was I mentioned that in the last video. And there's his fucking sword. It's amazing. And there's a bunch of other stuff. And it's it's all great. This oh the love the love. I wish I could have recorded my first reactions to some of this stuff. I, I really honestly should have. And I'm really sorry that you guys have missed out a little bit. So. So those are all the weapons that I've unlocked, and that's that's great. So, at this point, I've unlocked all of the characters to play as, so they're all good to go. So basically, you got the these four weapons correspond to uh, positions on the D-pad. So up is at the moment mapped to the twin Energon swords, and then basic spray and air. So that's how that works. And basically, I've been mapping the opposite sides to melee and um, ranged weapons. Just, just to help my brain kind of deal with it in the middle of freaking combat, and I mean, the combat in this game gets ridiculous. I know that in the last video, you know, it was like, oh, I was laughing my ass off because, oh, this is really difficult. It's like, oh, you have to really kind of be good at this. Um, it gets so much goddamn harder. And I think, I mean, I have come back to play these levels, um, so my characters are probably a little overpowered now, and these bad guys are going to go down with no problem. I don't know if the game scales up with you or anything, uh, I'm still playing it on intermediate difficulty, so this might be a bit unfair, I don't know. Who cares, it's Transformers, it's a silly fun Transformers game, but there's, oh Jesus, that's really all there is to it. I'm not going to worry too much about pickups and stuff as well, uh, oh, but... <laughs> oh, these assholes. <laughs> God damn it. It's just so much G1 love, I just, I can't even stand it. Oh man, the, you know, it, it really is one of those cases of like, oh my God, I'm going up against the Megatron, the Scrapper, the Hook, you know. Um, I'm interacting with with these characters who previously I could only watch in the cartoon. Alright, that cartoon wasn't great, you know, it was, it was the 80s, it was a silly, silly little show, but you still fell in love with these characters, they were still there to entertain you every Saturday morning or whatever. Now, I wasn't actually born when this game, uh, when, when the original series was out, so all of my experiences are on video. Uh, that's the old VHS for you kiddly looks out there. And so now getting to do this, oh my god, it's just so cool! Oh wow! I've never done that before! <laughs> oh! I, I think I've gotten better at this as well. But you've really got to be on it with this game, I've realised. Like, you can just kind of blitz your way through and just kind of clumsily press the buttons and stuff like that, but I said in the last video as well about sort of how the game takes advantage of button mashers Shit. And all that kind of thing, and that's... Uh, I realise, yeah, that's fine, but if you actually try to get good at it, it pays off so much. Just... you just look good, you know? Right, hang on a second. Something I didn't figure out until much too late in my playthrough was you, you have items in this game that restore health and stuff. So, yeah, you can use some of that and you die so often. Shit! Mmm! Come on! Come on, come on. So close. Finish him off. Finish him off. Oh, it looks so good. Now, let's deactivate this sub generator. But it's, it really is one of those games where 
once you get the hang of it and um, you're not just blundering your way through, you're actually, you know, in con it sounds weird, but you're actually in control and you are doing what you mean to do. The game is so, so rewarding. I mean, I'm fucking up really bad, but that's my, that's my fuck ups. I got achievement. Um, I'm not picking up the same items I was the first time around. Generally, pickups are not random, but they are they are different. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Stop running into these things. Oh god damn it! Right. As many of them as you can get. That was awful. Oh, so I can change my uh, I can change my character actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna play a bit more of Sideswipe because he's. He's kind of become one of my favourites. I really enjoy playing with a character who's like really fast. Because uh, it helps to sort of keep up with the game. The game obviously is insane, so you kind of want a character that can do that too. Look at that shit! Got a big area ready for a bu- oh! Oh yeah, right. He's dicks. That is not his voice. But whatever. Is it just him? Whoa, whoa, oh! <laughs> For fuck's sake. I, I promise I did play this once before, but only once, so I can't remember anything. Oh yeah, I, I accidentally called Long Haul Bone Crusher in the last episode. To a Transformers nerd like me, that's sacrilege, so I'm apologizing for that right now. Oh, the drills on my hands when I punch, they're actually Devastator's drills. Um, the one that Bone Crusher has, that's kind of actually what I'm using. When you beat Devastator in this level at some point, you actually unlock his drills to use, which is really fucking cool. Like, alright, fuck you two. <laughs> oh my god. I'll tell you what, I I've been gaming for like, probably all my life. Um, there are very few, there are, it's really sad to say, but there are actually few games that I genuinely find, like, fun. This really is one of them. <laughs> Stupid way to die. <laughs> one of the things I love about Transformers over some of the other, um, you know, big mecha series that were around at the time is the fact that every character does have a distinct personality. Like, it sounds like such a small thing, but. I don't know, it, it was always really good to kind of know that every character had their own agenda, had their own wants and needs and everything, and kind of knowing that, I mean, as a writer, like, the writers for the series have so many characters to draw upon, if they ever need a particular kind of character, there's one out there in the Transformers fiction for them to use, so, I don't know, I just love it, it's like, I mean, I suppose it's like X-Men or any other, any other world, fictional world full of characters. So I love that they've got, they've, they've tried to stay true to the voices of the characters because even though you meet these characters only very briefly, you get so much character out of the way they speak and, and interact and everything. Oh man, I fucked him up. <laughs> fucked myself up too. Yeah, I don't know how much of this I'm going to play for this episode. Um, I mean, I could just finish this level. I probably shouldn't have ended it where I did before, but it was getting very long. If I did sort of one half of a level every video, that might be okay. I don't know yet. I'll, I'll see how I feel, really. I mean, some of these levels are actually quite short. Um, some of the chapters, I mean. Fuck you! <laughs> God damn, that slow motion thing. Like, it just makes you feel so good about being good at the game. <laughs> Even if you're not, actually, I mean. It makes you look good anyways. Um, yeah, it's really sad, because apparently this game is uncomfortably short. Uh, it's taken me a while just because I've been stuck on some of the boss fights for so long. Like the, I think it's the second fight with Blitzwing. It's fucking ridiculous. It took me so long to beat him. When I did, when I did, I was actually sweating. Like, it, it's that, it's, it's that intense. This game, like you really, you really are made to work for your victories. Oh my god, I can't, I can't do this. Can you just, oh, f f could you just die? Maybe. Forget it. 
do this. Fuck him. <laughs> Even the second time around, it's, it's still fun. It's still awesome. Okay, so now here's one thing about this game that really bugs me is... Oh, goddamn. There's one thing that old Transformers games did and that I thought we were past, which was... Um, this idea that in a cutscene there's five of us, but in the actual game there is only one. Uh, I don't understand this. There is no explanation for it. I don't. Are they just off screen? Because there are sections of the game where you do play with the other characters, um, where they're there with you, fighting alongside you, and it's amazing because it, it's just great. You feel like part of a team and everything. It's really cool. But like right now, I'm against Devastator, and it's just it's just me. I could be Bumblebee. I could be playing as Bumblebee against Devastator, and as awesome as that would be, it's just a little bit silly as well. So this idea that we're all like it was a team, we're all Autobots working together, but we're not, are we? Because it's just fucking me. Shame in the crotch. <laughs> Enjoy your crotch rocket. Oh hey, I'm up here now. Fucking jeez. Yeah, I mean people are saying that these levels, uh, the game was quite short. I actually. I'm kind of impressed with how... I don't I, basically, I don't think it is that short. It, it's probably shorter than a lot of games. And certainly... Oh, goddamn. Certainly games have been getting a lot shorter in recent years. I did see uh, NerdCube's uh, recording of this where he managed to stay, like, in the air for the entire fight and just, just punching the guy. And I was really, I thought that was really cool. I have not been able to do that. Um, and I just died. So that's that's even less than he, he did. I will say, you know, just just because you couldn't possibly know other, otherwise, um, most of these fights I've been doing first time. So this is really unusual. I guess it's the pressure of recording right now. That That's probably what's doing it. I'm not usually bad at games. I'm usually very good at them. All right, more crotch rockets. Right in the dick. <laughs> Don't like it, do you? I don't know how to make this look good for when it does the slow down thing. I'm trying to sort of plan my last move to be awesome, but. Oh my god! Whoa. Oh, how did you miss? He, he just glided between the guy's feet, like, on purpose. You can accidentally do something like that, you prick. Bam, yeah. I guess that was kind of cool. Maybe if it. phasing right through his goddamn foot. That wasn't the whole first chapter, was it? Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, shit. I want to play more. Oh, well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'm going to... Uh, I am going to do more of this... Um... So, I don't know, just keep going. I will do more of this game. Uh, let's see what I unlocked. Hey, it's Primal Sword. I will do more of this game. I'm going to probably go all the way... Oh, wow. I'm going to probably go all the way through... Uh, on, on... You know, on recording and, and, and show you guys... Uh, just how cool this game really is. Um, and how cool I've gotten at it. I've gotten really good. I've gotten really, really good at the fighting. So you, you have to come and watch that. I'll show you how good I am at the fighting in the game. And then, you know, you can, you can leave in the comments how bad you think I really am. That's fine. That's fine. Do whatever. I don't care. <laughs> See you later, guys.